The San Antonio City Council has all but chosen its newest temporary colleague, civil rights activist and the mother of the city's most prominent political figures, the Castro brothers. Rosie Castro will be the lone finalist to interview tomorrow for an open seat on the City Council. The City Hall reporter Garrett Berger was at the council meeting where the current 10 council members narrowed down the field, but Garrett kind of sounded like Rosie Castro was always the choice in this one. Very much so. Castro is definitely the best known out of the four people who applied. And we even heard one councilman said that he say during the during the questioning that he felt a little silly interviewing her. So from the word go, it was pretty clear which way the council was going to choose and that this was essentially a formality. Now, still, Castro was one of four people who applied to fill the vacancy of Ana Sandoval, the former District 7 councilwoman who stepped down in January for family obligations and financial reasons. All of the applicants were essentially interviewed today rather than the council making a true shortlist first. But it only took a little over 20 minutes of closed door discussion for the council to come back and vote to make Rosie Castro their lone finalist, meaning tomorrow's vote is essentially another formality. We asked Castro about her priorities after the meeting. She mentioned traffic, infrastructure and transparency. Anna was very clear about transparency in government and trying to make sure that there was a connect connection between the neighborhoods, the people, the communities there, and government, and to help solve problems, but also to give their opinions on different decisions that are made for the entire city. She'll also be part of the early stages of the city budget process that begins next month in April, but she won't be there for the final budget vote. That's because a new permanent council member will end up taking office in June following the May election. Now, that race is wide open with, with multiple candidates vying for Sandoval's former seat. Castro said she does not plan on making any endorsement in that race. Live at City Hall, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.